time now for our CBS 21 political insiders. Charlie Giroux and Tony May joining us today. Thank you guys as always for being here. Big primary going on up in New Hampshire. Charlie, let's start with you. Uh, I don't sense as much excitement as I did in Iowa of all places. Well, there is. It's the first primary in the nation. I'm going to go way out on the end of a limb and predict that Mitt Romney will win the Republican primary in New Hampshire tonight. <laughs> you it and really is everybody a, else. It yeah. really is a battle for second, third, fourth, and fifth place. <laughs> and it really is a question of how big the margin is between Mitt Romney and the next closest finisher mm -hmm. in New Hampshire and how much inertia folks have going into South Carolina, which now looms as a very critical and pivotal primary. And so pivotal, in fact, that uh, Rick Perry says, forget about New Hampshire, I'm going to just stay in South Carolina. Well, some other folks apparently said forget about New Hampshire too, Rick Perry, and that's why I had to <laughs> Anybody who's not going to win why, just that's said why forget about South New Hampshire. Carolina. But no, South Carolina looks to be the firewall mm -hmm. for several of these second-tier candidates. And there's another force looming in New Hampshire of running against all the candidates, and that's expectations. You know, will Mitt Romney beat expectations? Will he do better than he did four years ago? Will uh, Rick Santorum do better than Ron Paul, which the expectations are that he will not? 40% seems to be the magic number yeah. that they hope for Romney. I got a sample ballot here. Well, you can't really <laughs> see that from that far away. Uh, of the New Hampshire primary, 30 names are on this thing. Did you guys know this? 30 different names. Yeah, Starts with a guy named Joe Story. 30 is Nobody's a heard of. smaller number than but usual. To get but to if you Romney, down. he's third from the bottom out of 30 names on this sample <laughs> ballot. This is what it looks like. 30 is actually a relatively small number for New Hampshire, Rob. And if because you go down yeah, the line there, you will run, find right. somewhere on there Stuart J. Greenleaf, state senator mm -hmm. from yep. Pennsylvania. Right. Another Pennsylvania. Another president. Pennsylvania added to the New Hampshire primary list. Well, so this for, is a, for the Democratic side, um, Tony. Who, Obama will win. Okay, well, yes. <laughs> before we get to that, oh, okay. <laughs> who are you? Who, who are the Democrats most fearful of to run against President Obama to give him a run for his Well, party? I've always been of the opinion, and I've said it on this program, that, that Mitt Romney is the strongest candidate to run against Obama because he is less conservative, less uh, to the far right uh, than the other competition. And I'm going to stand by that tonight, that, that he's he's ahead. If he can win here, win in South Carolina, this, this race is pretty much over. Charlie, uh, the independents can vote in the New Hampshire primary. How do you think that'll change the, uh, the the makeup of who comes out on top as far as the Republicans are concerned? Those are folks that are actually registered independent, Rob, or, mm -hmm. or non-committal or whatever they call it up in New Hampshire because the New Hampshire electorate is very small I independent. That live free or die state right. motto of theirs is lived and breathed by all of them. And New Hampshire loves to send surprises. They have many, many times. And that's why Tony is correct. The expectation game is what we're playing tonight. And there may be a through curve balls thrown tonight. Now for these candidates who are really trying for second, third, fourth place, um, if they don't get there, are we going to see anyone drop out before South Carolina? I doubt it, but we're getting down to the point where money, again, will militate very strongly against those second and third tier candidates. Those candidates that don't have a national campaign organization in place are going to find it impossible to fund a campaign going forward. Mm -hmm. So, Tony, do you want to go to, are you going with Romney? Is your favorite tonight? I'm going with Romney, and I know the results are in from the first precinct, Dixville Notch in yes. southern Canada, it's reported right. in. <laughs> Obama, three votes. This is not percentages. <laughs> <laughs> Three votes, two for Romney, one for Gingrich, two for Huntsman, and one for Ron Paul, and none for Rick Santorum. And so these are out Huntsman, because they voted at 12.01. They voted right. at midnight, yes. <laughs> yeah. It's a big party. <laughs> yeah, huge. All right, we'll have to see what happens. Of course, you can stay tuned to CBS 21 News. We're going to have full coverage tonight here live at 11. And you can always catch our political insiders every Tuesday right here on CBS 21 News at 530.